Hello. In this lesson, we continue our study of the sacrament of the altar. As we study the power of the sacrament, the Catechism tells us, how can bodily eating and drinking do such great things? Certainly not just eating and drinking do these things, but the words written here, given and shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. These words, along with the bodily eating and drinking, are the main thing in this sacrament. Whoever believes these words has exactly what they say, forgiveness of sins. When we studied the power of the sacrament of baptism, we talked about how the true power source in baptism comes from God's word connected to the physical element of water. The same is true for the sacrament of the altar. The word of God's promise is connected to the bread and wine. We receive the very body and blood of Christ under these physical elements. As Christians, we confess that the words of our Lord Jesus do just what they say. What Christ's lips say and speak, so it is. Because these words do what they say, there should be no doubt in our minds that the bread and wine are Jesus' body and blood for our forgiveness. As you prepare for this lesson, consider these things. How do we know we can trust God's promise to give us his very body and blood in Holy Communion? Does everyone receive the same gift in Holy Communion? How often should we participate in the sacrament? That's it for now. Blessings on your preparation, and we'll see you next time.